Bismillah. The Sultan of a distant country, known for his kindness and generosity, loved his subjects. He often went out without escort for his generosity without knowing who they were really dealing with. One day, as he was walking through the city streets, he saw a young girl whose great beauty burst under the stains of her face and her poor clothes. Instantly, he was dazzled by so much grace and shaken by an irrepressible passion for the poor. He dismounted and paid homage to the beauty of the young beggar by publicly asking her to be his beloved, his wife and the mother of his children. The slut, who had never dreamed that such a thing could happen to him, hid his face, frightened. She thought we were making fun of her and playing with her miserable condition. But before the flame of the young king, who refused to let her go, and under the pressure of the people present who shooted to him from all sides, go down girl from the street, it is God himself who sent a husband king. The girl gave in and gratified the prince with a smile that erased from her face the fear of such an unexpected drawing. The girl rode with the king and since then has been queen. The event was celebrated according to the customs of the court. Seven days and seven nights we feasted and the king, happy, did not hide his happiness from living near his beloved. The felt of the streets of his city. They lived happily and had beautiful children as in a tale. The king was happy to open his eyes every morning and discover the face of his beloved. But he was far from suspecting what had been going on in the corridors of his palace since the arrival of his young wife. One of the maids one day surprised the queen playing a bizarre game. She had to inform the king who, to have his heart set on it, began to spy on his wife. Every evening, after dinner, the queen dressed in rags that she had kept and went to beg in front of a window of the palace where she had put a dish. She passed by and said in a pleading tone, Lgima yataqa, lgima yataqa. One bite, O oh window, one bite, O oh window. She then mixed the dishes from the window in a bucket to test them as she pleased. Surprised by such behavior, the king asked his wife to explain himself. Then she answered him frankly, I'm queen is true, I'm happy is it true, I'm thrilled it is also true, but I have never stopped begging. The king, faced with such a determination, questioned his feelings and the ties that bound him to his wife. Does your wife's behavior disturb your feelings for her? On the other hand, did she fail in her duties as queen and the mother? No, replied the king, who resolved to maintain his vizier, a wise man. Sir, replied the wise vizier. You know the origins of this woman and you made her a queen. If nostalgia for her origins makes her do such acts and if these acts do not affect your relationship in any way, why get mad at her and suffer from her absence? Let her live the only good she brought with her. Her art of begging because she knows how to extract her very pittance from stone. The king appreciated the words of his vizier and ordered that the queen should never be disturbed during this occupation. We got used to it and ended up not talking about it anymore.